Pahawai, and welcome back to my playthrough of Jenny with Clue. Hello? You said if anything strange happened, I should call you. Well, something strange just happened. This is the only tomb here, and with no epitaph. This has to be it. This is clearly Zazer technology. Is it part of another Zazer sphere? When did doors go out of fashion? If this is the entrance, then there must be some way to open it.
Jenny peered into the ominous void. A jagged path carved into the earth, plunging deep beneath the rotting soil. How far down did it go? There was only one way to find out. I'm not sure I want to. Gathering her courage, she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. <clears throat> I said she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. before I walk down a pitch black staircase into the terrifying abyss. Sorry, Jenny. Jenny stared into the darkness. She could almost hear her mother's voice calling. A great detective perseveres, no matter the obstacle. And so, she took a deep breath, pushed up the thick frame of her glasses, and crossed the threshold. Another door. Locked, I presume. Whoever built all this certainly wanted to keep it a secret. Jenny was ahead of the man in black, for now. There was still the matter of breaking her mum out of jail and escaping without being caught. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny stepped cautiously into the dark space below. a creepier version of Dr. Benderson's office. Less natural light, same terrible music. A giant metal door stood conspicuously in the middle of the room. It must lead to the jail. A perfectly reasonable assumption. There was just one problem. How do I open it? A 
another animal. This one's a fox. Could this have something to do with Professor Zazer's experiments or the Council of Three? Blast proof. So the explosives are useless. Jenny knocked on the door. Based on the resonance, and the fact that my hand hurts like hell, I'd say this door is solid steel and at least four inches thick. No handle and no keyhole. Whoever built this door wanted to keep people out. Or in, depending on which side you're on. I don't know how to pick this. It's some kind of slot. Is something missing? Jenny came to a distressing yet inevitable conclusion. I can't open it. I'm stuck. Of course it's a giant metal door that's impossible to open. Why wouldn't there be? It would be easy to feel defeated, but this was Jenny the Clue, a great detective. And as her mother always said, a great detective sees every locked door as an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity for an elaborate puzzle and lateral thinking. Someone works here. Or at least they did. Judging by the dead plant and dusty typewriter, no one's been here for a while. To a detective, rummaging through a trash can was like opening a treasure chest. Just with more gum and cigarette butts. Gross. My initial assessment? Looks like a lot of... trash. A rotten sandwich, napkins, belly button lint. Wait a second. There's a note here that's been torn up. Could be a clue. Too easy. They should have used a shredder. I know a secret code when I see one. This could be useful. It was always a good idea to put your hands between the crusty crevices of a sofa cushion. All kinds of exotic things could be found. What's this? It's an old dirty mop. It's an old dirty mop. 
Detectiving was hungry work, and Jenny couldn't remember the last time she'd eaten anything. What I really want is a hot coffee. So she perused the selection on offer. Bunch o' nuts. Gross. I hate peanut butter. There's gotta be something better than this. Big crunch. Fight hunger with a punch. I've had one of these before. Tastes like cardboard. Kiss of death. Well, at least they're honest. Now with 50% more arsenic. Who buys these things? I don't smoke, and I'm not planning to start now. The key. Open the door to yum. These candy names are getting ridiculous. What kind of vending machine doesn't serve coffee? Jenny found it hard to focus without her usual evening brew. Perhaps a nice bar of chocolate would help. This is a waste of time. How's a chocolate bar going to help me open that door? And that's when it hit her. The key! Open the door to yum? Surely a humorous but irrelevant tagline. It's the perfect shape to fit in the slot on the door. A mere coincidence. It's literally a key to the door! It'd be a rather strange place to hide a key. Stranger than a waiting room beneath the graveyard? That's my ticket out of here. B31. Got it. I don't have any change. I don't have any change. It's an old dirty mop. Stupid machine! Give me the key! It's no good. It's stuck. How can I get the key out? It's leaning forward against the glass.
That's why it's stuck. The machine has one short leg, making it lean forward and to the right. If I tilt the machine to the left, I should be able to get the key out. But Jenny wasn't strong enough to lift a vending machine by herself. I'm going to need some leverage. Of course! I can use the mop to tilt the machine. A little bit of legwork and I'll have that key out in no time. Just a little bit more. I did it. Just chocolate? Of course. It came from a vending machine. But I thought... Why would anyone hide the key to a giant metal door inside a candy bar? Actually, now that I think about it, it does sound pretty ridiculous. But necessity was the mother of invention. Jenny may have failed to open the mysterious door. But thanks to her ingenuity, she had created her own way through. She peered inside the hole. It was just wide enough for her to squeeze through. Well, look what we have here. Jenny shone her flashlight on a damaged section of the brick wall. I can see through to the other side. The path ahead was dark and foreboding, but Jenny was too excited to be afraid. And so, without hesitation, she crawled into the rocky passageway. Just another friendly message, warning of my impending doom. Glatz Mining Corps. <laughs> Don't do that! Sorry, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. The walkie-talkies are for emergencies only, not chit-chat. I'm about to enter one of the abandoned mines. I can't have you distracting me. An abandoned mine? Be careful, Jenny. Those tunnels are dangerous. This is the case of a lifetime? Of course it's dangerous. But you'll get lost! Those tunnels run underneath the entire town. Exactly. One of them must lead to the jail. You're right. I bet I can find it on my map. What are you talking about? What map? In my granddad's journal. He was a great cartographer and mapped out all of the tunnels. And you've had this with you the whole time? I always keep it with me. It makes me feel close to him. Convenient. Why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't know you were going to end up in the mines. Fine. I'm in Tunnel 12. See if you can find it on the map. Okay. I'm on it, Jenny. The barricade was old and rotten. Shouldn't be hard to remove. If I find a weak spot. Oh. 
Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.